Hello and welcome back. So we have our um, table now. So let's begin coding our PHP. So I'm going to go to my htdocs folder and the folder that we created here, which is a school, I will drag this folder into my sublime text. That way I can view it over here quite easily. Let me close this. Now I have some text here. Now copy this text into your text editor and let's save this file in here but before we do that actually let me right click on school and create a new folder so I'll say a new folder so we're creating two folders in the school folder there one is public and the other one is going to be private as usual so new folder new folder the other one is private so the reason is for security purposes so that we put all our private code in the private folder now the reason this is secure is because our website will be accessing the public folder the private private folder will be one level above our website which means no one will have access to it uh, just unless they are really good at what they do okay so now that we have all that let's uh we can have this so type this text here this is our ht access file what it's doing is it's telling us to uh, we're telling it that we may rewrite our url and once we do that regardless what's happening uh send all the data that is inside our query string in the url that is to the index page this way what we are doing is we are telling it that no matter what somebody types in the url as long as they are on our website we only want them to access the index page nothing else just that one page this makes it easy to control the flow of the application this one here will ignore all files and this one will ignore all folders so if it looks at the url and it finds that there's actually a file that exists it won't apply the rule here that we are doing you to just let it be so this is good for your images and css files so once you have this just uh, type it let's create a new file in the public folder here new file and let me paste that data save so i'm saving in the public folder of our school there and i'll save this as dot ht access so make sure you save that name correctly and save so now we have an HD access file. We don't need to see this file anymore. We can just close it. Okay. So what that file has done effectively is to lead us to the index page no matter what. So let's see that in action. So I'll go to my public folder and right click, create a new file. And I'll just put some PHP tags here and just tell it to echo. This is the home page like so and then i'll save this file right here as index.php save that okay good so now i can go to my browser open a new uh, a new tab and here i'm just going to say school slash public slash index.php okay so as you can see now i'm accessing my index page now without the ht access file if i try to type something else here i'm going to get file not found but in this case i don't have to type index.php i can type some gibberish and if i press enter you see that i'm still accessing the index file so regardless what i type here it's irrelevant i'm still going to be on the index file okay so things are working well with our ht access file that is good so now that we're redirecting everything here, we can control our app a little bit better. So to begin here, let's create the app uh, thingy itself. Now the app uh, function is going to be in the private folder because that's uh, very the core of our app itself. So I right click on private folder, create a new, let me create a new folder in there. I'll call this one core and save that okay good 
and then I will right click create a new file in core and let's put some PHP tags here let's save this file as app.php save that a double p dot php so here i'm just going to say echo and say from app dot php that's way this way we know where the echo is coming from like this then we go back to our index page we need a way to access this app dot php from index page so we did that to hide it so that it's in the private folder but we need to be able to access it from our public folder here so what i will do is uh, I'm just going to say, normally you'd say include like this, I would say include and then since I'm going a folder upward, I'll do dot dot slash and then I'll say private and then slash core like this slash app dot php. Okay, so if I now r run this, I'll see from app dot php, very nice. But the thing is, inside the core here, I want to have classes, class files, right? So I want to be able to uh, to load those files. Actually, we should just load them immediately. So what I would do is I'll go to um, the same core, right click and say new file. I'll put some PHP tags here as well and save this. And this one will be called the init.php. Or you can call this one autoload.php. I think that's much better. So autoload.php and save. So the reason we have that autoload file is because we're going to have several files in here. Now, I don't want to have the trouble of including all of them in my index page here the same way i've included this one right so instead here i want to just include the init file just one file in here that would be much cleaner and then inside the uh sorry that's i've changed it to the autoload file so let's change that to autoload like so okay so now i'm including this autoload file and this autoload file can include all the files that are in this folder so at this point i will just say uh, app.php now let's try and include this without the prefix here just include app <clears throat> and instead of include let's use require because these are required files Let's go back here and do the same thing. Let's use require. That way it throws an error if they are not found. Okay, so I'll refresh. I'm still getting from app.php. So which means things are working just fine. So this is including app. Let me remove, I can remove these brackets like this. So what this means is that every time we add a file here, we have to include it. So I'm going to add a database file as well. So I'll say database.php and then same thing here. I will right click new file and just say, um, what will I say? PHP, save this as database, excuse me, dot PHP, save. Okay, so now we have a database file, app file or inside the autoload that is nice and then we can go back to our index page let's include one more file here and this file is going to be the config file now um, actually let's just do it from here uh, database where is this database autoload let's just add it here because the config file is a sensitive file so we must hide it as well I wanted to add it in the public folder, but that's not a good idea. So config.php. So let's add that file as well. New file. PHP. Save this. Config.php. Save. Okay. So now we have all these files, the config file, the database, and the app file. And then we have the autoload where we are including all of them. So... Config should come first because it contains our configuration. 
and then in the index file we're just going to require the auto load which will load all the other files with it so for now we can close the auto load we can also close the no we can leave these ones open like this okay so the configuration phase is done this is all we needed to configure our app so hopefully you have uh, yeah we right click and we refresh and no errors which means everything is good so we are good to go here so in the next video let's add some meat to our app.php file here because this is the main file of the whole application i'll see you in the next video